Four cars and they all black, got four bras and they all that We call that ballin', doing this is my calling. Flow is so appalling, my phone off and she calling. I'm like, yeah, what it do, penthouse man What is going on, everybody, it's Sports Lab Train And welcome back today, guys, to the channel For some more Forza Horizon 3 with another Wheel Spins episode, man I've been really enjoying these, you guys have been as well, too I've been noticing the comments and the likes to view ratio I mean, this is probably the most liked series on the channel man no joke and i want to give a big thank you to everybody that does come around to the channel to check out the videos on a weekly basis and to show support on this series in particular man now ladies and gentlemen if you would like to keep seeing forza horizon 3 with these wheel spins don't forget to slap that like button now, i don't know if you guys can recognize this car or not man it's a pretty damn iconic 350z it's not to the t the color on the back with that gold is not right whatsoever, but it seems like there's only a few of them on the storefront that do have it at least, you know, somewhat replicated properly. Let me know down below if you know where this is from. If you don't know, you're not a true Forza fan, man. That's all I'm saying. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get into our wheel spins for today, and it looks like I have one. One wheel spin to run with. That is terrible, man. Have I not been playing this game very- oh my goodness i'm sorry man i let you guys down we don't have a lot of them uh the forza thon though let's see what we have for these forza thons this month um so black friday blowout don't miss on these amazing deals do we get damn rebates on the black friday deals at all for the wheel spins spent oh here we go okay so spend two hundred thousand to win three wheel spins i like it man hell yeah uh, complete any event to receive 80 grand. See, that's more like it, man. $80,000 sounds a little bit more reasonable than, say, 15 grand. Win one auction to receive 50,000. And door busters, we have 30% off of everything in the auto show, man. So if you guys have that special car on your mind right now, today or this next couple of days, well, actually, 12 hours from now, 12 hours from now, this sale is going to be over, man. You guys have missed out on the Black Friday deals. Hopefully you guys got something, man. If you did, let me know what you grabbed for Black Friday. If you're asking me, Slime Man, what'd you buy for Black Friday? Um, not much, man. I went shopping on this Saturday, but I got a uh, shirt, and that was really about it, man. Now, we could have had a Horizon Edition car for the very first run, man. That would have been crazy. Uh, we have to buy our own. If we can pull another Viper, I will be pretty damn excited to start. It's okay. Okay, we got 50 grand, man. We got 50 grand. But, I mean, Black Friday, though, was pretty hectic where I live, at least. I mean, I didn't hear of any catastrophic events that did happen where people were getting trampled and shit like that. Which really makes me upset because I feel if people are getting hurt in your own store, I'll take 100 grand. Thank you. But I feel, though, you know, some of the responsibility has to lie on that store. I mean, you can't be letting in 30 to 60 people ready. Oh, what is this here? Forza Horizon Thon. Oh, okay, we already got the three wheel spins, man. That was really quick. Um, but yeah, I mean, you can't be letting in 30 to 40 people that are just going to go absolutely bananas to get to that product that they want. Man, you have to have lineups. You have to, you know, let in only a certain few people. But, you know, I have been noticing a lot. Of, whoa, collect prize and spin again. Okay, so we got our free spins now. This is perfect. These are the VIP spins, thankfully. But, I mean, you just got to be respectful with that. And I did see one that was pretty funny because it was a Canadian Black Friday event. It was at Best Buy. And they were just all nicely walking in. You know, the staff was clapping them in. And, you know, that's what we need to see, man. I mean, people getting way too aggressive for products. And, I mean, yes, you've waited in line for this long. But, you know, that's why there's a line. So that way you don't have to rush into the store. But... I mean, like I said, it just, it needs to stop, man. People need to stop getting hurt over Black Friday deals. But going back to the original question, uh, no, I mean, I didn't really get very much for Black Friday this actual month. Um, you know, I, I was really kind of on the hunt for a widescreen monitor. I didn't really see anything that I really, really wanted. Uh, so I'm probably not going to end up pulling the trigger probably until Christmas time or so. I mean, December for me right now is just absolutely slam-packed. Uh, you know, I got Germany coming up on, I leave, I believe either Thursday night or Friday morning because I think I get there Friday morning and then that's when the weekend starts. So I'm pretty sure I leave Thursday, which means I got a lot of catching up to do for the weekend because I'm going to have content for you guys on the way out. You know, I'm not going to leave you guys stranded with nothing, but I'm also bringing a lot of content 
home with me, man. I'm gonna be recording the entire time. I'm actually, I forgot about this. I do need to hit Best Buy probably either today or tomorrow or just order it on Amazon because I think Amazon had the same deal that Best Buy did. But um, I think there's a GoPro package. I, I'm pretty sure I found the photo here. Hold on one second because I did snap this photo. So it's the GoPro Hero Session waterproof camcorder and a 16 gig SD card for 250 bucks, man. So I think that is going to be the best route. I do have my Hero 3 Plus, but I think it would really come in handy though um, if I did have a secondary camera for the trip. Now, unfortunately, I don't know exactly how those charge as of yet. I'm pretty sure they just, you know, actually plug in. So they don't have their own battery source, but I need to take all of stock this week of what I have, what I'm bringing, all my battery packs, you know, everything that is coming with me. But I'm really excited for Germany. I'm gonna be in the Essen Motor Show Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, if I'm not mistaken. And also, too, you guys can follow me on Twitter to find out, you know, where I'm going to be at, stuff like that, if you guys are coming to the show as well. I'm really excited, uh, you know, just to meet everybody that is going there to see all the cars. You know, I'm going to be there with a few other YouTubers as well, too. I'm not going to say who as of yet because I don't want to spoil it if they haven't. If they've already announced it on their channels, let me know if they have. But it's going to be one hell of a time. I'm pretty damn excited to, uh, you know, actually taste the German beer again, man. I love the German beer when I went last time, and uh, you know we're going for round two. I'm pretty pumped, and I hope you guys can you know follow along. I may use Snapchat this time a little bit more than last year, but uh, who knows what's gonna happen, man? I mean, we may get to meet the crazy car guys again. We may get another ride along in another drift car. I mean, that would be pretty damn insane. But uh, you know, I'm, I'm I'm just ready to go, man. I'm pumped. I'm excited. And, uh, you know, hopefully you guys can come along for the ride. We are getting absolutely very unlucky on this episode. $26,500 to sell it? Sell that bitch, man. But, you know, just a huge thank you to Creative Mobile, Nitro Nation, and my man Stefan for making that whole trip possible. I'm going to get to go with Riley as well, too. So, I mean, we're going down there. We're going to have a great weekend. She's going to help me do some filming and stuff like that. So, I'm going to get some really nice angles. I'm really excited. But, uh, oh my god, can we get that 22B please? No, nope. okay, no, that's, that's fine, man, I appreciate that. We are at 7.1 million dollars right now, and if we can pull this Ford Focus RS, I will be very, very grateful, turn 10. Come on now, playground, please, no, okay. That's not, no, that's not a problem, man. Now, the main thing that I wanted to talk to you guys today, man, the main thing was the Grand Tour episode number two. Two. Now, if you guys don't know, I've been watching it on my Amazon video on my Xbox One. I'm in Canada. It'll work all around the world, I'm almost certain about. All you need to do is just change your region on your Xbox to make it US, and essentially you can watch the Grand Tour in the comfort of your own house in HD, man. You don't need to go and try to find a secondary, you know, kind of platform where it's already been uploaded to online and now you're kind of, you know, losing quality. This is straight from Amazon video and uh, it was a great episode. I really did enjoy episode number two. I watched it twice. As you guys know, I had an absolute meltdown on Friday where I lost everything and no joke, man. I was sitting here ready to go for the weekend. I was pumped. I mean, I knew the Grand Tour was already out last night because it came out right around, I think, 9. I wasn't home, so I was like, you know what? I'm going to get up Friday morning, watch the episode, do a little bit of editing, and just enjoy my Friday morning. And, you know, as I was doing that, you know, I accidentally deleted my folder. And I guess it was, you know, it was sitting on my desktop somehow. I hit delete, didn't really notice it was there, and then, you know, poof everything was gone. Now, I also did a sponsored video earlier in the week for a specific company. I can't tell you guys any details, but I did a sponsored video and I had a specific time to record. I, it was actually a privated session where, you know, you had to kind of go in when their time was ready. And thankfully I recorded that on my Elgato. So the same files where everything was trashed, but the day before this all went down, I said to myself, you know what, I'm going to export this just in case something happens. I didn't know what, you know, I've been pretty damn good with my files, but I said, just in case, I'm going to export this. And little do we know, fast forward 12 hours, I lost everything. So, yo, I would have been so upset if I would have lost that video. It actually comes out this week, so look for the channel for something new. Um, it's a game that we've already played. But it's new things coming to that game. So I'm pretty damn excited. Uh, we just got 100 grand, man. I'm okay. It's getting a little bit better. We still have yet to pull a Fer I was going to say a Ferrari edition, man. No, a Horizon edition car on today's episode. We got the Ferrari FF, though. 
I don't like that thing, man. I really don't. Let me know your thoughts down below. Do you like the FF? I've always said it's got that weird back end. Like, it looks like, you know, something of a sports car, and then it kind of turns into a wagon almost. And I, oh my god, I don't know. That's just my personal opinion. But the Grand Tour, though, let's get back to that because we're straying way off topic here. Um, I really enjoyed the look at the Aston Martin Vulcan, and I know that's it. Oh, we can sell this right now. Selling it. 175 grand. Thank oh, we can get that Viper. ACR Horizon Edition. Please, man. That credit boost? I'll sell that thing. No? Okay. But, uh, yeah, I mean, the Aston Martin Vulcan is in Horizon 3, and I'm really excited to actually go back and test drive that car again. But uh, it was a really interesting look, and I have a whole new kind of respect for that. Oh, oh we got the damn Mini Cooper S Horizon Edition. I think this may be my first Mini Cooper in my collection of Horizon Edition cars. I'm almost 100% certain, man. Let me know down below if you guys know. Um, some of you guys may be saying, well, slap, don't be lazy, man. Just look. All right, well, sorry, man. Hold on. That's the newest addition to our Horizon car lineup, man. That's pretty damn cool that we did pull something at least for today, man. Something. I just wanted one thing, man. That's... I'm okay with that if we don't get anything else for today. But, um, yeah, I mean, the Aston Martin, it just... It sounded nice. I wasn't a big fan of the brake squeal at the start. That thing sounded terrible. Like you said, it sounded like he was stepping on a damn pig, man. It really did. But, you know, I've been really enjoying the show. I really have been. And, you know, it's something that I kind of look forward to now every week. And I actually got my fiance to watch the episode that just aired, which was episode two. And she enjoyed it as well. And, you know, we kind of watched episode one. And, you know, now we're ready for episode three. I so. did like the little skits that they had, you know, where they were trying to infiltrate that one base and all that. And, you know, they had only one life for the three of them. I really enjoyed that. You know, obviously it was scripted and everything like that but you know it, it was just fun you know it was something a little bit different and you know i didn't feel like it was forced in any way you know the three are a pair that has been matched for many many years and it's a proven formula that has been working and you know once again we're seeing this in the grand tour those three hosts jeremy james and hammond um they are literally the three best hosts that you know are together and i don't see another trio that is as good as they make it look on camera they make it look so smooth and just natural for whatever they do it doesn't have to be just in cars but for whatever they do it's always you know been pretty damn good and i mean like i said i never watched a lot of the old school top gear because it just wasn't something that i even knew about back in the day and you know now like i said i get to follow a brand new series brand new show and you know and now it's kind of relevant as well too you know now we're getting all these kind of newer cars coming in you know cars that we can relate to on forza and stuff like that so you know it's really cool the fact that we do have you know the same car that we can now run in game online with friends and maybe you don't get a discussion going and stuff like that but we're going to definitely sell that for twelve thousand. uh shelby gt500 that's a maybe, man. I don't know if we're going to end up pulling this thing. I really doubt it. I will say, though, that damn Audi, though, that Jeremy was driving to kind of distract the plane at the very end, man. The understeer was so real on that car. It was absolutely ridiculous. Obviously, it was all-wheel drive. But, uh, yeah, I mean, you could just see those tires biting. I see a Horizon Edition car in there somewhere. I could have swore I did. Oh, no, it was 100 grand, though. Okay. Thank you, man. We're moving up right now. Six point what? Wait. Did I not get my money? I swear it did not even give me my money right there. Tell me you just seen that. Let's see if it works here. So 6433 should bump us up a little over 500,000. Subtract the 50, bring us down 15. Okay, so yeah, maybe that's the discrepancy. Okay, yep, we're getting our money. I'm, I'm just, I forgot that they cost so much damn money to spend either, right? I mean, oh my God, $5,000. We're going to get three more spins. Let me know your thoughts on the Grand Tour episode number two. Obviously, it was different from episode one in the fact that it, you know, it didn't just focus on the cars like it did in episode one. It was a little bit different this time around. I enjoyed it. It was a nice kind of break. And I'm excited to see what they're going to do for episode three. I thought it was pretty damn funny that James went to that damn donut session over there. And uh, he just did not like that thing one bit. But I will tell you, though, that man was ballsy hopping out of that car, though, with him in there. You can tell he just was not excited, man. He's like, get back in this damn car. But they were whipping it out there. Like, whipping it. I seen the three, four guys on top of the roof when they were showing some skids. And I'm really surprised they didn't fly out of the damn roof. We just got that damn Viper GTS. Uh, we already own it, so how much is it going to give me? 47 grand, man. I'm going to keep that for 47 grand. 
two spins left. I may have spun it a few more times, but it didn't count because I wasn't counting it. So, oh shit, okay. 100 grand. That means we got one spin left. Are we going to end this on a good note here on Forza Horizon 3? Ladies and gentlemen, if you have not done this already, please slap that like button. I'm not saying it for the likes, all right? I'm saying it because if everybody does this, we get a Horizon Edition car, all right? That's why I'm saying it. You know, it's not clickbait or anything like that. It, you know, it actually works. And if, you know, everybody does it, it will happen. So I'll give you guys a quick second. Go for it. Take your time. Scroll down if you need to. Just don't close the app because I ain't waiting for your ass to boot it back up. And I'll tell you that right now. We're going to go in three, two, one. Here we go, man. Horizon Edition. Oh, my God. It's made, it, oh, I told you right now. Drift skills boost, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, shit. Oh, you. I got excited. I seen the pink and I swear there was a pink logo floating around on that Metro, man. Ladies and gentlemen, huge thank you for coming around once again for another Wheel Spins episode. I accidentally hit it one more time. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to, but I'll take it anyways though, man. Hashtag not addicted. You want to stop trade? I'm out. Peace. Four cars and they all black. Got four bras and they all that. We call that. Balling. Doing this is my calling.